What's going on guys? We got a new sandwich to try from Arby's, the barbecue bacon burger. Now, the sandwich itself, I don't believe it's widely available right now because they're doing test stores and my location that I go to um, is doing it. I don't know if there's anywhere outside of Des Moines or anything that's, you know, doing these test burgers, but there it is, the barbecue bacon burger. Uh, yeah, but no, uh, it's got pickles, onions, bacon, barbecue sauce, American cheese on it, on a brioche bun. Pretty sure I said that right, probably not, but you know. Uh, but I, I'm not a big fan of barbecue sauce in general, like, never cared for it, never liked it. It's just not my type of sauce, but I decided I'm going to try it out of three. There's three different burgers. We got a deluxe, which just a regular one with burger sauce and everything. Then they got a bacon cheeseburger, too. But this one just seems the most different out of them because the barbecue sauce. But let's get going. You know, let's try it. That is surprisingly really good. Like, I don't like pickles on it, but even the pickles are fantastic. I don't know. The bacon and crispy onions give it a really good crunch to the burger, too. And the barbecue sauce really mixtures as well with the burger as well. Or I'm I'm shocked to even say that I like that because I don't like barbecue sauce, but this isn't bad. No, uh, like I said, if you want to go check your local Walmart or not Walmart, local Arby's, and see if they're carrying them, they probably aren't. I'm gonna imagine uh, the big cities uh, in your state are probably the ones that are gonna have them, like most population. Like Des Moines is probably the biggest city in Iowa I don't know I completely agree with you but yeah no this is surprisingly really good um they say they're cooked to medium rare I believe which I don't know there's a little pink in it but it looks it looks like it's well done yeah no this is really good what makes this different than any of the other burgers they've had? Um, this is a pure beef burger. So, it's no way goo's into this time. No way goo. What's way goo? Who cares? Uh, but yeah. Pure beef. 100% pure beef. Ground beef. Um, it's not like the big game burger we had a few months ago. This is really, really good. I highly recommend it. If your Arby's is carrying this burger... Um, go out and try to get it if you can. If not, uh, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, I, like I said, they're testing these out right now at the test stores. If they do well, uh, I believe they're going to become permanent items from what I was told. But who knows what's really going to happen. But yeah, no. Oh, we're going to get one more bite in this. That's surprisingly good. That is surprisingly really good. Like, honestly, I don't I don't know what to say. It's just I like it a lot. I highly recommend it. Another thing to add, um, these burgers, they're not grilled or anything. They're put into a fryer, which <clears throat> all the previous burgers have been like that. The Wagyu has been like that where they fry it. I know. I know, it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> but no, the uh, Big Game Burger, <laughs> excuse me, whoo, was also fried. And I believe they cooked for like 2 minutes, 15 seconds. But yeah, no. Uh, it always fascinates me that a fried burger, really? Like, eh. But yeah, no. It tastes surprisingly well being fried for a burger. Man, but I just wish they gave me their, the salad, you know? This isn't... This isn't the salad I, I ordered. I don't know. I'm just going to end it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. And um, maybe I'll do reviews on the other burgers. I give this a solid uh, 7.9 out of 10. Pretty solid. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.